every once in a while I'd have like an angel visit me. I just didn't quite understand it then. And then when I got saved, uh, honestly, I, I didn't really recognize I had a prophetic gift at first. I started scaring everybody. <laughs> it sounds really funny, but like I would just know stuff about people. Wow. I was I was going to a real conservative church, and uh, I would have dreams about people, and then just go, "Hey, I had this dream about you, and I saw you were struggling with this and that," and they'd freak That's out. Incredible, yeah. You know, they'd go, "How do you know that?" And I'd be like, "I'd be like, I, well, I had this dream about you, and it was like the pastor." You know, he'd be like, "Don't tell anybody that." Like, <laughs> right. and, and so it's funny because you know when you have a prophetic gift, sometimes let's keep that between us, good, and, and you, little prophet man. You, you don't know what you're doing, <laughs> yeah. and there's no mentor or anything around you, like. You you can actually make a pretty good mess, you know, and, and you don't, you're not trying to, even if you have a pure heart, you know, it's just like, Hey, I'm trying to, I had this vision about you. What do you think? You know? And, and, and at what point did you realize that what you had was actually like a, a redeemed gift from God? Like at what point, because if, if you'd always been operating in this, there must've been that moment where you're like, like yeah. I'm operating something that's, a, that's a, unusually intense yeah, and, um, and, and unique, right? I think I started to recognize it. You know, I actually got invited to do a John Paul Jackson uh, Art of 101 a hearing oh, wow. God's That's voice. Awesome. awesome. And so when I went to that, you know, he teaches about all the revelatory stuff, high level, you know, character and the gifts and all that. And so it was then that I started recognizing, like, I was like, oh, wait, this is a gift from God, you know, like, and it, and it really thrusted me into uh, a greater hunger to, to know the Lord, but also. To develop that gift and uh, if you know anything about John Paul his his whole testimony it stirred me because this was his testimony he had a guy that interviewed him one time kind of like what we're doing and the guy asked him hey how do you interpret dreams and he said well I don't know he goes I just have the gift and the guy said well that's too bad and he goes what and he goes because it'll die with you when you die wow you know wow. And he said you, wow. he said you should probably learn how to pass it to another generation and because of that legacy man like it totally stirred me 